What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to do a data mosh kind of effect. Usually this type of effect takes a plugin to do it, but now I'm going to show you how to do it with no plugin. Let's get straight into it. The first thing you want to do when you're in After Effects, as you can see, I have both clips right there. I have a clip that starts and then I cut it and I go to another place. That's very important to do that because it's really going to create that contrast between the two clips. So the first thing we're going to do is select this clip and then we're going to go to directional blur and we're gonna put this right there. And then we're gonna increase the blur length at the beginning, and then let's go three frames further and put it back to zero. And then we're also gonna put an exposure effect. This is all gonna add up later on in the tutorial, don't worry. So the exposure at the beginning, we can raise that up to something like two. Let's do two go three frames further and put it back to zero. The next thing we're gonna do is pre-compose the two clips. Let's call them transition. And then we're gonna create a new solid, a new solid and call it displacement. And then we're gonna apply fractal noise. Then we're gonna go up to fractal type and put it to subscale and put the noise type to block. Then we'll do alt click on the evolution clock watch and we're gonna write time asterisk 100 that way it adds movement and for now we're going to turn that off and then selecting the transition layer we're going to go to effect controls and type in time displacement and then we're going to make the max displacement time 0.2 and put the time displacement layer to our solid and also make this effect and masks so as you can see we already have something close to our result the only thing that we're going to change we're going to keyframe it so that it's only there in the middle and not at the beginning and the end so what we're going to do is turn this off to see when's the cut so as we can see it is there so we're going to turn that back on and keyframe max displacement time let's go a few frames before let's say four or five and put this to zero and then it's going to increase and create that effect. You can press U to see your keyframes and then go a few frames further there and put it back to zero. We already have something pretty unique, but another touch we're going to add to it is some motion blur. So we're going to do new adjustment layer and then we're going to write pixel motion blur and apply it to our adjustment layer. And then if you want to spice it up some more, another thing you can do is go up to new adjustment layer we're going to select cc toner and then we can make the mid-tone something like red and in the middle we're going to make it zero keyframe dot and then go to the beginning make it 100 percent and go to the end and make it 100 percent as well and just like that here's our final result So that was it for today. If you found this video valuable, please consider subscribing and let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you would like me to cover next. I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.